Hey guys, so I recently posted a video showing you how to use glass containers, um, basically just trash you can find on the landscape to make arrowheads. Today, I wanna to talk about a different use for these, okay? And that's gonna be water disinfection. Now, obviously, if you find some of these and you have the ability to make fire, um, boiling in these would be the best way to disinfect that water. So get a fire going, fill these up, you know, fairly full with water, get those to a boil and you'll be safe. If you don't have the ability to make fire, you can still use these to disinfect your water. And we're gonna talk about that right now. If you've been into the outdoors for any amount of time, into bushcraft, survival, primitive skills, any of that kind of stuff, you might have seen those little UV pins that you put in your water and it uses UV rays to disinfect your water. So today we're gonna to do something similar using our greatest source of UV rays, and that is the sun. So I wanna start by trying to find the cleanest water I can. The, the more um, clear this is, the quicker this is gonna work. So I wanna find some pretty clean water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this bottle up. Now, if I had a bandana, I would want to use that to pre-filter this, getting those particulates out. Again, the more clear this is, the faster it's going to work. Also, I could use my shirt, um, you know, my underwear, anything like that, that any kind of fabric I can put over this and filter that water through and get those particulates out. But this is fairly clear water. The sun's really shining through there pretty good. So I think it'll work okay. Something else you can do if you have access to salt or if you brought salt with you is you can put a little bit of clay in this bottle, stir that up, then you can add a little bit of salt. And something about the combination of salt and clay in this bottle will actually bind to the particles in this water, causing them to go to the bottom and it'll make your disinfection process a whole lot faster. Again, this is fairly clear water, um, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But if you have salt with you, um, not a bad idea. Now I want to find an area that has full sunlight, extremely bright. It's the middle of summer. We have this nice rock face here. It's going to reflect a lot of sun back at this bottle. But I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm blinded by the sun. But I'm going to set this bottle up right here. And I want the outside of this to be fairly clean, again, to allow those UV rays to penetrate. So I'll clean that off. And we're gonna let this sit here for at least six hours. So this is a very slow process, okay? It's gonna take a while, but if you can find a handful of these bottles, fill these up, have them sitting out here, you can, you can have a decent water source um, that you know is gonna be fairly safe. Again, this is not as good as filtering your water or boiling it. Um, there's a lot of variables involved, but fairly clean water, nice, clean, clear glass bottle. We're gonna give it about six hours and we should have good water. So another way that you can speed this process up drastically is if you have access to lime juice. I know that's not something you would probably normally carry with you out in the woods, especially if you're gonna lose all of your other gear and be stuck out here with only lime juice. But if you're out on the beach or, you know, we're out here camping, sipping some margaritas, we got salt, we have lime juice, all that kind of stuff, it's gonna speed it up drastically. So it works the same way as ceviche, if you're familiar with that. Uh, basically the acid in the lime is binding to all the bacteria and protozoa and all that type of stuff and killing it off and essentially neutralizing it, making it safe to drink. So if we had lime juice, I could put some of that in that bottle and rather than waiting six hours, we could wait 30 minutes to an hour, um, let that you know marinate for a minute. Again, if we had salt, we could add a little bit of salt with some clay, add some lime juice and be halfway to our margarita and some clean drinking water. All right. 
so six hours later I'm gonna come grab my bottle and we should be good to go so the cool thing about this is it doesn't have to be a beer bottle any kind of plastic container ziploc baggie anything that's clear that's gonna allow those UV rays to come through and kill that bacteria kill those parasites protozoa etc will work fine so find some kind of clear trash fill it up with water give it about six hours and you'll be ready to go that.